what I'm realizing about overwhelm and stress and other challenging emotions and feelings is that instead of pulling away from them, it's good to just have a moment to feel it. Things are chaotic, everything is going really fast, there are a million things to do, deadlines, work, life, 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 coming in every direction. So it's good to pause for a moment. This could be a moment in the bathroom. This could be a moment on the subway. This could be a moment lying down, getting ready to go to sleep, or not being able to sleep. And instead of resisting those feelings and cursing those feelings, sometimes it's good to just take a moment to feel into the feeling and see what's behind it. So I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. And if I feel into that overwhelmed feeling, I feel like I'm not going to be able to get everything done. I feel like it's impossible for me to do everything that I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I'm gonna crash or lose my mind or collapse from exhaustion. So it's good to say these things out loud because it's like, that's not gonna happen. Sometimes it's good to just, you know, really name it, claim it. What are What's behind the overwhelm? Is it that you feel like you can't do it? Is it that you feel like you have nothing left to give? You feel like you're empty and you're squeezing and squeezing and squeezing out of yourself and you're empty. Feel into the feeling, find out what's behind it, find out is it fear? Is it anger? Is it resentment? Is there a way to delegate some of your responsibilities? Is there a way to create a more realistic schedule for the things that you have to do? Maybe it's too late for this moment and the things that are going on right now, but maybe in the future, learning how to say no, not saying yes to everything, Trusting your intuition about what to get involved with and what not to get involved with, who to be around, who not to be around. And then sometimes I think it's, like for me a lot of times, I'm overwhelmed because I think I can't handle something, but I probably can. For example, when I was in college just starting out, we had to take this placement exam to get put into a math class. So I took my placement exam, I got put into a math class, I go into the class, I'm looking at the work and I'm like, there's no way I can do this. There's no way I can do this. Immediately, I'm just like, okay, I don't know why they put me in this class, there's no way I can do this. I go into the office and I'm like, I don't know why they put me in this class, they have to get me out of this class, I cannot, there's no way, there's no way, no way, no way, no way. And the guy is like, this is the class that you placed into based on your exam. But in my mind, there was no way I could do it. And so sometimes I think, we might think there's no way I can do this. But maybe the universe is saying, you are, you, you passed the test, you're at this level now, you can do it. And so that energy that it takes to be like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't, no, 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 I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Sometimes it's just like taking a deep breath and being like, okay, I don't know how. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I can do it. I'm going to figure it out. And sometimes that alone is so comforting because sometimes the stress and anxiety comes from being stressed and anxious about being stressed and anxious. It's like, oh my God, I'm so stressed and anxious. I'm so stressed and anxious. I'm so stressed and anxious. And it just escalates and escalates and escalates and escalates instead of being like, okay, I don't know what, some way, one way or another, it's going to be okay. If everything falls apart, it's going to be okay. It's going to have to. But most likely, everything is not going to fall apart. And everything really is going to be okay. So, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> My name is Damali.